Hot 1079, Atlanta's number one hip hop station. It's my Asia Simone. Hot at night with Fly Guy DC. I'm sitting next to real Boston Richie. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. How about you? I'm feeling good. I mean, you're here in the A. You say you're always here. Yeah. And then I feel like, you know, at one point Atlanta had a lot of artists that were coming out at one point in time, but I feel like y'all putting Florida back on the map. So. Oh, no, for sure. For sure. <laughs> so since the T Pains, the Kodaks, right. um, how do you feel about that wave right now? Florida? Yeah, just Florida in general. Man, I feel like, man, I'm fucking with it. I just feel like we just got to keep working, man, and doing what we do best. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. always, you know, also on top of the big eyes, you always put your own people on, like Wiz and other oh, people Oh, yeah, no, nah, I'm most definitely, yeah, for sure. Yeah, talk about them a little bit, because I want to give them a little bit of shine just so we know who's oh, coming nah, around. Oh, Wiz, here. like, that's one of my homeboys. Like, <laughs> they ain't, like, nobody I met with through the rap. Like, I've been yeah. on Wiz for, mm, for, for, for a minute. 10 years plus. Like, this, like Wiz, we sleep at, like, you feel me? These boys stay at miles. We was just, like... Years ago, when it was coming up before the rap, like you feel me, like that's my brother for real, like yeah, like yeah, that like we is my brother for real. And you talk about life before the rap. Who is Boston Richie before you know you got that double X freshman, double XL freshman call? Like who were you before that moment? Yeah, I, probably, I really was the same person. You feel me? <laughs> I just my fame was like ain't nobody know me. Or I really went on IG like that. Like I always been on the same type of stuff I'm doing now. I always been on it like before the rap. Yeah. yeah. Who, what What were you doing in high school? Because I always wonder, like, you know how some people like, oh, they were lame in high school, and then they got some Oh, no, nah, I, I always been popular. Like, I, ain't like, I always popular. had money, and I always been popular. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was always one of the ones, for sure. A lot of people don't even know you played tennis. Yeah, no, nah, a lot of people don't know. My homeboys know, but, like, people don't know yeah. that. Yeah, how in the world did you get into that? Oh, man, my um, my dad had um, got incarcerated, and so... My mom used to be like, nah, hey, you know, every day we used to come from school, you know, me and my brother used to be outside, we used to stay in the projects, like, she wasn't really feeling that. Yeah. So she like, man, I'm finna put y'all in something. So she, and so, you know, we thought she was finna put us in football or something. She took us, she put <laughs> us in tennis. Uh, either the three. Yeah, nah, <laughs> no, I do so we thinking, like, it was gonna be either, like, she said she was finna put us in sport, we thinking, like, okay, we finna go play football. <laughs> man, she took us to tennis tries. You know, me and my brother, like, tennis? what? Tennis? <laughs> oh, no. But I don't know, we still did it, though, and we won the championship, though. Yeah, no, that's yeah. so dope. Like, that's so different because, and I think that's something you should show, like, one day on social media, I think you should really, like, just show people. Like, yeah, no, nah, we still got them trophies, Tap too. into that, like, do some pickleball or some tennis, something, yeah, I don't know, nah, just something. Yeah. <laughs> now, when it comes to being famous, I know life is changing for you, and it has changed. I know you said you were popping, you already had money, you had right. everything before. Um your life is not as regular. You know, what is something that you miss that you used to do regularly that you can't really do right now? Mm, really to go places, like certain places. Like, like now these days when, when I go somewhere, I'm always got to second guess it. Like, not on like that, but I'm like just thinking about like, nah, I ain't with nobody. I can't go over there. You can't here. go there. Right? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, like if you wanted to go, I don't know, what's something so simple? Like, what's, what is it like going to the mall for you? I'm I'm be calling all my homeboys phone like hey boy yeah but meet me over here at the yeah. mall you feel me just 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 be safe you get what I'm saying like two eyes always better than one yeah you know what I'm saying so like even though like in my mall I know everybody in the mall like all the yeah. stores <laughs> people who sell right. the drip like they know me you get what I'm saying the security everybody know me but still like I still just try to be secure when I do move around you know because you never know what's on the person man like you feel me? Yeah. like you, it just ain't safe. What's the best part about being famous and the worst part about being famous? Man, the best part about being famous me is like knowing that like my music and like what I do helps others. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. it give others like it get them kind of like like gratitude on like damn one day I can be that I can do that I know where he came from. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing about it. The bad thing about it is like everything you do is intensified. Like yeah, everything. that's that bad thing I, I hate it about it. Like it's something a regular person can do. I do it and it's be like, oh, it's you viral. know what I'm saying? It's viral, like, <laughs> and I don't be understanding that. Though, yeah. So that's like the worst part of it. Now you're 27, right? Yeah, 27. 30 is around the corner. Where do you see yourself at 30? Man, I'm be doing the same thing I'm doing now, <laughs> trying to trying to trying to be better. Do you have a um, like a particular like? Is there anything like your 30th birthday? Like, what does that look like? Like if you're gonna plan a big birthday or if you're gonna Man, have a, like a milestone 30. you wanna reach. I'm gonna give you thirty on the sound right to me right now. <laughs> really? Like I don't even you take it day by day. Yeah, I don't even wanna hit thirty right now. Really? I, what? I'm scared of thirty. There's nothing wrong with that. Cause I just feel like thirty gonna give me that gap. Like I'm a grown man now. Okay, okay. Like, I see what it's you're gonna saying. thirty just like give me that I'm grown. Yeah. Like cut it out. 
Yeah, out, she, of, out of games, you can't play games. Yeah, no 27 still sound like I'm in the mix of being a young, you know, young and, and getting the. Yeah. But 30 just sound like. I don't know. I feel like 30 is the new 20 in my head. Like, that's how I feel. I mean, oh, when you no. hear what, what you think of people going to call you unk at 30? Yeah, they already <laughs> trying to call me unk now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I know they're going to be calling me unk for sure, though, 30. Well, like, uh, I ain't trying to hear that. You're right not an unk, but you are definitely a dad. So talk about fatherhood, because I know, like, what is it like raising kids as a rapper, you know? I ain't going to lie. My, my fatherhood for me is, like, the best thing. Yeah. Like, going home. And knowing, like, when I, get, when I get off the road, I go straight to my son, take school to pick him up. Mm -hmm. When he see me, he go crazy, like, uh, and it's just amazing just, like, to see my son, like, from a child, the day he was born until now, like, he's starting to talk. Mm -hmm. He's starting to show me the things he like to do. Yeah. So, it's like, it's just, it's just amazing, like, to seeing a little me, like, growing up and being able to, like, start to understand. Like, he don't even understand what he got going on with me yet. Yeah. But I know when my mama sent me videos, he had the house playing my music, he'd be like, my daddy. Yeah. But he still don't know yet, like, yeah. so it's just a blessing, like. <laughs> now, you know, we're going to get into your music because you got a lot of motion right now. Like, right. you got the biggest song yeah. in the country right now, I right. want to say. Just even being in the club, hearing that record, we yeah, definitely going to get into that. And I want to go back real quick because I know Tatiana is actually starting music and you jumping behind her, right? No, nah, nope. she ain't starting. No she music. started, so that was fake. That was nah. That was, that she was just saying some little stuff on the song, though. <laughs> really? Yeah, nah. But she, but she's on your song. Like her vocals are on. Yeah, your I song. she got vocals on that. Yeah. And that dropped already. Yeah, it just dropped like two days What's ago. What's that? The help. That's the help, help me too. too. Yes, yeah, help, help me too. too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, when it comes to building your legacy, what do you want to be most known for? <laughs> Staying consistent, making great music, and just motiv motivating people, like motivating everybody, like. Mm -hmm. And you're a person that really believes that life is already written. So if you could perfectly design your life right now, I know you said you ain't even thinking past 27 right now, but yeah. if you had to design your life, where do you see yourself in the next, I mean, minutes, days, hours to come? If I could do it. If you could do it, how you want to do it. Probably have me a Mike, uh, Michael Jackson run. Like, really? <laughs> a <laughs> world be, tour. I be lit like, like, like I, be, I see videos of him like, I used to stand in the windows of his hotel, and yes. you guys just and everybody just screaming, crying, thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Like I don't really see people like be famous like that no more. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you still got a people like probably like somebody from like over the way. Like you know what I'm saying? But like. Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson, I feel like that was a different type of like. Yeah, I, I yeah. feel like I think social media did that too because if I didn't know you, I could still send you a DM and you could respond to me. But right. Michael Jackson, he wasn't accessible. He, yeah, you feel me? So it like you had to go yeah, see him. You had like, to. For real. So that was a different, like, that was different. Yeah. Now, when it comes to the brands, the fashion, that's a really, really big thing for you. Yeah. You always stamp in Go Yard. You got people mad. I was oh, seeing, yeah. I saw a clip on social media, and the dude was like, man, it's because of uh, Boston Richie. He was saying, oh, we yeah. can't do that. <laughs> you making it hard for us men. You yeah. know, they going to give you an endorsement or something? <laughs> I hope so. I pray so one day. Why Go Yard? Man, I don't know. I just, it's just like, I ain't going to lie. When I had got put on Go Yard, you know, Future put me on Go Yard. He gave me my first Go Yard. Oh, wow. Yeah. And from there. So, it like, when I, I know for a fact, like, 100%, oh. I ain't, like, okay, you got rappers. Okay, I seen rappers with them. Yeah. But I know for a fact, like, when nobody else wearing them, like, people, I ain't see nobody in the streets. Like, females, like, I seen, like, a couple females, but, like, people weren't pushing it heavy. Like, I know when he gave my first bag, I ain't really see nobody with it. Like, you had some couple rappers that was already... I'm talking about the established rappers, like the ones we right. all know of. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. I ain't them the only people I can say I've seen them. Wearing. But yeah. like, I ain't gonna lie. So when I first got my first bag, it kind of like had me in that mode. Like, oh, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna go buy yeah. every bag I come across. You can. And so that's how I was. <laughs> I used to leave, get my money for my shows, and I'm going straight to my house to go buy me a new go yard. <laughs> yeah. So like, that, that became my like my best bag. Like I, I like I run too. Yeah, and I think it was like a point where um, I think you spent seventy k on your grill. Oh yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Most expensive purchase because I'm scared if you spent that much on a grill. <laughs> I, my, I, I, my, probably, probably my a chain I had bought. Really? Probably a you, chain. You want to say how much it was? Like three hundred thousand. 
on a chain. Yeah, on a chain. Which one would like? Can you describe it? It was my, it was a it was a bubble chain. Um, it was a, it was big too, and then it had like another small bubble but you chain. You bought your whole gang some of those too. Right? Yeah, yeah, we but still got them. Yeah. That's dope. How does it yeah. feel to be able to do that? Because I know, like, I don't even know if you ever imagined that, but to be able to get to a point where you could buy your whole team, you know, it's something. Good. It just feel good to be able to provide. You know what I'm saying? Like to be there for your people, how they be there for you, mm-hmm. right? And then I want to go back because you said Future gave you your first Goyard. I yeah. mean, your relationship, he really has been behind you. He's been pushing you. Yeah. Like, uh, are you signed to Free Band? I mean, I yeah, yeah, I'm still, I'm still, but I'm, I got, I'm, I'm signed to Free Band, but I signed a major label deal with um, Epic. Okay. I'm signed to Epic too, though. What's a call from Future like? Like, he hit your phone. Like, what is, it? like, what is it like? Shit, a call from him. It's yeah. like, shit. Have some some shit to pop pop shit with him like, can you type of person gonna call you and just be on some popping shit like yeah. you know what I'm saying like that type of person to, like for real. Now are you gonna do more music with him? Cause I know you yeah. said you're not as focused on it because of your relationship. It's just more like big yeah. brother little brother. But like yeah, we got some we got a lot of songs in the cut though. Okay, we got some bangs in the cut for sure for real for real. Now I did see it was a song. It was you and and I don't know if this is real or fake. I feel like it was fake. It's you Kodak. And Boss Man D-Lo. Oh, nah, YouTube. it was fake. No, yeah, it was see? fake. It was fake. <laughs> like, they be doing they be doing that. They be doing me. A lot of people on YouTube like that, though. Yeah, it like, was fake, though. But is that possible, though, to get y'all Yeah, nah, hell yeah, yeah. I fuck with them boys. How you feel about Boss Man D-Lo? Because he is... He uh, is yeah, I fuck with D-Lo. Like, I was fucking with D-Lo, like, before he blew up, like... Okay. I used to have Brandon Studio with me. I fought with D-Lo for sure. Yeah, the energy yeah. is crazy. Yeah, put, I, when I saw it on YouTube and then I listened to the verses, I'm like, I think they just mashed up a couple yeah, of Yeah, they, they just took like his song, <laughs> yeah, song, my song, just put them all on one beat. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so help me. The biggest record in the country right now right. Um, is doing numbers. When it comes to, you know, you you, drop, you actually work with Glorilla too. You did. Yeah, help yeah, me, yeah. You help me too. Why did you decide to drop two different versions of Help Me? Man, really? Cause like, I, I know it started off on it started off on Twitter when people just going on Twitter like, man, help me so hard. We need a part two. Okay. So you know what I'm thinking like I I just thought it was just some little regular little, <laughs> but then and, and then I just kept seeing it like it was going viral on people to people on Twitter. I'm basically like, man, we need a part two, part two. Mm-hmm. So I was in L. A. I'm recording music. And I told my dog like, man, just bring help me beat up real quick. I'm just play around with it, mm-hmm. and I did. I probably did like. 16 balls on it, they ain't even finishing or nothing, and that was it. So, like, a month after that, I just had it. I was at the crib chilling with my son. I'm like, I just cropped the snippet and posted it, mm-hmm. and it went viral. It just went viral. So, you know, people calling from the label, like, but we might have just go and push this out just for the fans, you feel me? So I just finished it for the fans. And then you got Go Richie. Yeah, Go doing Richie. numbers on YouTube. Yeah. And you did an open verse challenge for that one. Or was that No, nah, yeah, I did an open verse challenge for um, Help Me. For Help Me. Yeah. So did you find somebody? Nah, nah, not yet. We we already got in mind. <laughs> we already got in mind, though. Can I guess who it's going to be? Well, I don't know. Who you think? Well, it's, okay, tell me, is it, if it's a, is it a major artist or somebody on Instagram? Or somebody nah, that went I viral? Like, I know for a fact the girl, it's, a, it's just a girl that went viral. Yeah. It's a girl that went viral. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, she, I know she won because like <laughs> she got the most comments out of everybody, so like it's it's hard that ain't go against so, it. Yeah, you, you gotta yeah, do it. Yeah, and she went viral on, on, on Twitter too. And then of course you know you pushing so sick after that. You waiting on what to drop so sick? The album November first. November first. Yeah, so it's so sick coming November first with the album. All right, and what else is coming up? Because I don't want to miss anything. Uh, what else are you working on? What right else? Right now, album. November first. Album mode, straight yeah, album. Album mode. Right Can now. you give us one person that's gonna be on the album? Uh, Yadi. Yadi. Yeah. Yadi. Yeah. You bring in Yadi. Oh yeah, that's gonna yeah, be major. Yadi. That's gonna be major. Yadi is yeah. very talented. Well, I appreciate you for stopping by Hot 1079, talking to us. Tell everybody where they can find you if they want to contact you. They want to reach out. Real boss, Richie on all platforms.